Hello everyone, welcome back to the Denver Beard Reviews channel. Thank you for stopping by and taking time out of your day to watch my videos. If you could, please like and subscribe and share the channel with your bearded friends. I'd truly appreciate it. Um, today's video, we'll be discussing the company Doc Beard Good. Please stand by after the short introduction and I'll jump right into the review. Thank you. Alright, welcome back. Again, thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's video, um, we'll be discussing the company Doc Beard Good out of Broomfield, Colorado. Their owner and CEO's name is Kevin Grant. Uh, the company started back in 2017 by a U.S. Air Force veteran by the name of Jim Dorkins, a.k.a. Doc Beard Good. Um, his focus was providing all-natural beard products that moisturize and condition facial hair and skin, and it was his mission to be the number one beard care product on the market. Uh, the company is passionate about not just helping customers look good, but also uh, to provide thoughtful design products, unique fragrances, and affordable prices. Uh, the company uses simple formulations and proven ingredients within their products, and Unfortunately, Mr. Dorkins uh, sadly passed away unexpectedly back last year in 2021, but the company continues to serve his legacy for the ded dedication and passion of providing quality products and wonderful customer, customer service to the bearded um, consumer. Doc, Gear, Doc Goodbeard has been featured in the likes of ESPN, Swagger Magazine, the University of Colorado, Voyage Denver Magazine, and is also a partner of Shark Tank's Kevin Harrington. Uh, the company is now run by their owner, their new owner and CEO, Kevin Garan, who embodies the kind of drive, passion, and work ethic that it takes to be a successful entrepreneur within the beard game. So again, Kevin, thank you um, for the opportunity to, to review your products. Um, uh, I really enjoyed my time with these products and uh, look forward to continued conversation. Um, the first product that I, uh, product line that I'll be reviewing is their two ounce beard bombs. Um, this is a two ounce beard bomb, runs you around twenty three ninety five. The industry average being around fifteen to twenty dollars, so it is a little bit higher than some, but it does have quality ingredients. And with your purchase, it also includes a thirty-day refund, money-back guarantee. So please keep that in mind. At the time of this video, um, their beer bomb lineup comes in ten cent profiles, um, five of which I'll be reviewing today. Um, the container is a nice silver container like we're all used to. Um, screw off top. Um, just nice, simple, easy to open container, but also, of course, holds good. So you're not having to worry about losing any of the, the product if you by accidentally drop it or anything of that nature. Um, the labels are nice and simple, easy to read. Um, but also, each scent profile is actually color coordinated, um, but they all have the Doc Beer Good name and logo here. Um, tells you the name of the product, the two ounce container, and of course their slogan. It's all about the beard, man. Um, on the back, you'll have Doc Beer Good, um, the scent profile, which this one is new gloves, uh, instructions for use, ingredients list, a barcode, as well as their Facebook, Instagram, website, and Gmail email address, as well as stating that it's made in Colorado. Um, the consistency of this balm is very, very nice. Um, the looks of it is similar to what you'd expect from any other beard balm. However, um, it has a nice creamy consistency, and it is very, very easy to obtain the product in your hand. You don't have to 
use uh, like a guitar pick or anything like you see in some of the other beer bombs out there on the market. Um, it um, is real nice to dig into, easy to get into your hand, doesn't require the pick or your nail in all honesty. Um, and it almost reminds me of a consistency similar to if you would mix a beard bomb with a beard butter, um, just as easy as it is to um, pull out and use in your hand. Um, emulsifies well in the hand as well. The ingredients in this beard bomb are beeswax, fractionated coconut oil, coconut butter, apricot kernel oil, um, argan oil, shea butter, hemp seed oil, fragrance oil, and tocopherol, which of course is vitamin E. Um, the scent profile here with this one is new gloves. Um, the new glove scent is just your straightforward leather scent profile. Smells like what you would expect walking into like a western retailer or similar to like boot barn or something just as soon as you walk through the door uh, you smell that new leather boot fragrance and that's exactly what you get with this very pleasant and any owner of a, a good pair of cowboy boots would enjoy this uh, just straightforward leather scent and it again reminds me reminds you of a new fresh pair of cowboy boots wonderful profile um, the second that we'll talk about is the Sol Solstice Spice fragrance. Um, this is a cinnamon and lavender um, scent profile. Um, you definitely get, you de yeah, you definitely get both scents and they surprisingly work really well together. Um, it's a, a mix of a very spicy fragrance but also calming at the same time. A um, little unique. Um, I've never really smelt a bomb such as this. Um, it's, it's like a spicy, calming effect that you have from this bomb. Really nice, unique profile. Uh, the third is their black and amber scent. Again, each profile has their own color coordinated label. Um, the black and amber is black pepper and amber, of course. And this is a calming fragrance that kind of reminds you of the smell, or at least it reminds me personally of the smell, like you're walking into maybe an old-fashioned market or retailer or like an antique flea market, that kind of, <laughs> that kind of retailer, if you will. Um... Just kind of that nice old school fragrance, calming, um, but also at the same time, uh, you get a little bit of the pe the pepper with it. it. It's just nice and pleasant. It's kind of, I, I would call this kind of old school, if you will. Um, real nice and pleasant and it has a real calming nature to it. Uh, the fourth profile is their lavender and lace. Uh, again, kind of a straightforward description of it. Uh, it comes in the purple container, color coordinated with the fragrance. Um, it's just a nice, simple, relaxing uh, lavender scent. Uh, you do get a little bit of the sage with it, and that's where the component of the lace comes in. Um, the lavender kind of is stronger than the sage however you do you still you do excuse me you do smell a little bit of the sage in there just nice and calming um, if you ever had maybe like a stressful day this would definitely be a bomb to try out uh, if you had maybe a job interview or something this would be a pleasant scent and very useful just to kind of calm your nerves and um, bring you back to earth if you will uh, real nice scent. The last one, and probably my absolute favorite of the bombs, is their green tea, green tea tree. Uh, it comes in the green label. This is a 
green tea and tea tree blend. But when you think of tea tree, excuse me, tea tree, uh, the tea tree oil scent, it can be very overpowering sometimes. Um, and, and it's very distinct. However, uh, when mixing this oil together, they had, they had that plan in mind. You do get a nice sweetness to this. Um, you, you do smell kind of that green tea component with it, with a, maybe a little subtle hint of the tea tree. Um, however, the green tea within this is very nice. Nice, sweet fragrance. Um, it reminds me of just a nice, pleasant summer beverage that you would have. Um, kind of has just maybe a little bit of a fruitiness to it as well. Um, also with the tea tree component in it, it does provide some antiseptic component um, and also not only moisturizes, but with the antiseptic can keep your beard clean. Just absolutely wonderful beard balm. I, I love this fragrance. Uh, and this is actually one of their top sellers. So go ahead and check that one out. Uh, I definitely recommend that Beard Bomb. Um, all of the scent profiles that last about three to four hours in beard um, works well within your beard. Easy to get out of the container, work it into your beard, down to your skin underneath. Um, with the beeswax, of course, it does have some holds so you are able to style your beard. I usually leave my beard in kind of that natural state, um, but again, I'm not really a beard balm user. Um, however, with this beard balm, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I actually ended up using the beard balms kind of like I would a nightly beard butter. Um, it's got like that medium thickness to it or consistency to it. Uh, so it does kind of remind me personally of what you'd expect from a beard balm. But then again, you have the benefits of the beeswax in it that also allow you to style the beard as you see fit. Um, kept, keeps your beard moisturized, um, no itchiness, no dryness. Um, the holding factor is there. Um, so, but it is also easy to comb through. It doesn't leave your beard... Um, kind of a, a sticky or stiff mess like you'd expect from maybe like a hair gel or something like that. Um, and again, I'm not usually a beard balm, but I did enjoy it. Uh, I'm not a beard balm guy, and I did enjoy their beard balm product. So again, I will continue using their beard balms, and it's an overall wonderful product. Um, the next item that we'll be discussing is their one ounce beard oils. I have. Um, they come in five scent profiles, two of which I'll review today. Um, the one ounce beard oils run you $19.95, industry average being between $15 to $20, so this falls right in line. Um, w with the average, of course, it also of course includes quality ingredients and also comes with that 30-day refund money-back guarantee. Um, the bottles, again, nice and simple, but I do like that they have a bluish color to them. I uh, usually either see clear or amber, so this is a little bit of a unique touch that I enjoy because blue is one of my favorite colors. Um, comes with the casual um, black dropper top. The consistency of the oil does, of course, have a, a goldish tint to it there and it is a nice light oil. Um, the ingredients list here within this oil <clears throat> are fractionated coconut oil, jojoba seed oil, argan oil, Jamaican black castor oil, hemp seed oil, vitamin E, and essential oils or fragrance oils for the scent profiles. Um, again, each scent is designated by a color coordinated label. This scent profile here is their tobacco pouch. 
Um, this is a tobacco and turmeric scent. This one's a little bit unique, um, but it is that typical sweet but woodsy tobacco fragrance. Um, you have a little bit of a subtle hint on the back end of vanilla as well. Works well. Um, nice scent, very pleasant. Um, not overpowering or overbearing. Um, you wouldn't offend anybody by wearing this in any way. Um, really good, um, really good leather scent. Typical, um, not leather, sorry, tobacco scent. That, that's where I was thinking. Uh, typical tobacco scent with a little bit of sweetness on the back end. And again, it is a very pleasant fragrance. Uh, overall, great product. The ingredients work well within your beard. Um, keeps your boy beard moisturized all day long with no itchiness whatsoever. Uh, the second beard oil fragrance that we have here is um, Salubrious. And I, I did have to, I will admit, I did have to look up the pronunciation of that word, um, which is, actually is a synonym for healthy, just so you know. Uh, comes in the bluish or maybe a uh, uh, kind of a teal collar label. Um, this is a bergamot and clove fragrance profile. This is, this is definitely a very complex and unique fragrance for me, as well as the name, uh, unique uh, 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 fragrance name, Salubrious. Uh, and I appreciate the uniqueness. It, it uh, makes your product different and unique, and I enjoy those types of scents myself. Um, it is a citrusy, warming fragrance. You can smell the bergamot and the, um, the citrus components of it, but then also with that clove. If you've ever smelt clove, it does have a, a distinct scent profile. Uh, they work very well together in harmony, and this is probably one of the uh, only beard brands that I've seen kind of mix the two together in that way. Um, kind of difficult, in all honesty, to explain this scent. It's one of those that you just kind of have to try for yourself. Um, but again, the bergamot and the clove work really well together. It is a pleasant scent, uh, complex and different, but is very pleasant. Um, of the two, in all honesty, the Salubrious is my favorite over the tobacco, um, just because of the uniqueness of it. And I personally enjoy the, the clove fragrance. So wonderful beard fragrance there with the Salubrious brand or fragrance profile. Um, both of the scent profiles last in beard probably around three to four hours. Um, they work well within your beard, easy to comb through, easy to work down to through your beard to the skin underneath. Um, no itchiness, kept your beard moisturized all day. Um, with the uniqueness of the Salubrious, again, uh, uh, that's my favorite and uh, one that I'll continue to uh, use uh, for future. Um, overall, great beard oil that I'll definitely continue using. Um, with both products, the Beard Balm and the Beard Oil, uh, the Doc Beard Good brand, uh, it's simply an off awesome product line in the beard game. Uh, they've actually made me a fan of the Beard Balm. Again, I cannot recommend this Beard Balm enough. Absolutely awesome product. Um, <clears throat> the formulation that they have here in Beard Balm, uh, where it kind of has that um, rem that remnants of the uh, beard butter, which is a, which is something that I commonly use on a nightly basis. Um, again, their specific formulation of beard balm I will continue to use, and I did truly enjoy it. Um, the logo, of course, is of the original owner. Um, Jim Dorkins. You can see him there. If you look him up on it uh, online, the logo looks just like him. He seemed like an absolutely wonderful man. Um, 
Kevin, the the new owner and CEO, who truly lives out, um, lives up to the standards of the company and does awesome work. I love how their brand honors the late owner, um, and of course, lives true to the Doc Goodbeard name. Um, may Jim Dorkin's memory live on to years to come, and within this brand, um, he is truly honored. Uh, they not only, of course, provide beard oils and beard bombs, they also have a, a beard wash, um, as well as beard trimmers, beard brushes, and of course this awesome beard comb that I was also blessed to receive. Um, it has the logo there on the front, and of course the Doc Beard Good website uh, across the front here. Awesome brush as well. Um, I do look forward to the continued success and development of the product for years to come. Um, if you would like to check out their products, check them out on DocBeardGood.com. They're also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And I cannot recommend the TikTok enough. Kevin, your videos are awesome. I absolutely love watching them on a daily basis. Um, give them a try. Check, check out their website. If you have any questions, please let me know. Tell Doc Goodbeard um, the Denver Beard Review sent you. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Oh, and before I forget, it's all about the beard, man. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you.